Hey, welcome back guys, this is Crafty Fox, and today we're going to be building one of the oldest trains that I've ever built, and it is right here, it's a coffee pot boiler engine. So this is built in the year 1871, which is the Victorian era in the UK, and uh, this is commissioned by someone anonymous, so they did not want to be mentioned uh, for this video, but thanks anyways for commissioning the build. Uh, so yeah, this is right now in the Beamish Museum in the UK. I seen it a lot pulling this car. So this is actually the Chaldron coal wagon and you can assemble like a train, maybe like three or more cars. Put in the back of this and you got yourself a really old train. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take gray concrete and add the first wheels. Place that right on top of the tracks and add a three by three acacia wood slab in the middle and then our back wheels. Then we're going to take acacia, fill in them between the wheels, and a row in the back, and one extension in the middle, and an extension in the front as well. So then we're going to take another brick slab, add it in all four corners, then um, gray concrete right above it, like so and red concrete in the middle of it. So then we're going to add um, two red concretes to this side. And then I'm going to try to make uh, the giant boiler so it's going to be like this star shape, three blocks tall, like so. And then right over here a two by three. This is what I considered the head. And we're going to take acacia wood stairs upside down, place it in the front of that with acacia wood slabs on the very top, like a two by three. Then we're going to take wooden button, add it to the sides. This is going to be like an emblem. And then take a piston, put it on the side of this gray concrete. Put it on all four corners. And let's take a lever, place it alongside it so it sticks out for the buffers. So let's do that. We can also take a trip wire hook, place that in the middle as well. And same thing in the front. So once we do that, uh, we can take uh, cyan terracotta, place that in the middle on top of the boiler with a cobblestone wall on top and one on the side right over here. Then we're going to take acacia fence gates and add three to the sides at the very bottom in between these two wheels. So it looks like that and that's going to be our side rods. So let's add a stone button for the wheels right over here. And we'll also add uh, two more to the boiler for some detailing in the front, like so. Then let's take um, stone brick slab and just add it around the very top, just to make that grayer. Then the back, let's add red carpet all the way across, like so. And in the front, add it above where the pistons are already. <clears throat> then next up, we're gonna take uh, acacia fence, add it right above where the fence gates are. And sorry if I sound a little bit tired because it's like 8 p.m. <laughs> and I already did this tutorial before, but I had to redo it because my microphone sucks. It just went haywire for some reason, but now it's fix so that's why it sounds a bit weird so then we're going to take um, an oak wood fence and place that right underneath this cobblestone wall near the boiler so then we're going to take an oak wood plank place one right here next door let's add an iron bar then we're going to take out um, acacia wood slabs and fill in this part in the middle basically like all of this fill that in as well with acacia wood slabs and one right here above the wheel and the one 
uh, right next to it, uh, it's going to be an acacia wood stairs like that. So that's going to connect to where the break is, as you can see right here. So place an acacia fence right there with a wooden trap door on the very top. We are also going to place one on top of that cobblestone wall. So then we're going to take cobblestone wall at three inside here and one in the middle on top. And a gray concrete block alongside the sides. So it looks like this. We're also going to take a lever and place it in the back of the boiler like this. And a red stained glass pane on the bottom in the front area. I don't know if I did this in the back. I don't think so. But uh, yeah, that should be pretty much it on how to build the coffee bot boiler. So now we're going to make the coal wagon. So to make the coal wagon, we're going to take hoppers and place two of them like this and skip a block to hoppers. Same thing on the other side. Then in the middle, we're going to take uh, black wool and just go across all the way and next we're to take um, another brick stairs and add it to the bottom on the sides like this next layer we take a uh, black wool again add it to the sides on top of the nether brick and then nether brick uh, stairs all the way around this time it's gonna wrap around the very ends of it so it does look like this and once we do that we're going to add this section so these are going to be like our lettering so it's going to be quartz in the middle uh, have a block of space and then a white wool block and do this on both sides then in between all of them we're going to take black wool go across making a wall and on top of that we take a black carpet just go across all of it just to cover up the white parts and you have to cover up the black since it will be on a different level if you didn't so this is how it should look like then we're to take uh, stone buttons add it like this on the ends so that we have more detail and we can also add in our uh, buffers right here using another brick slab like that and then you can connect it to this train hopefully you built it together not spaced apart but yeah uh, that's pretty much it on how to build the coffee boiler engine and the children coal wagon so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, please hit that like button below and subscribe if you haven't already because I will be uploading more videos like this in the future. And if you want to do commission, you can just check out my Sofi page. Link in the description and I will see you guys next time. Bye.